good. How are you doing? Good. Um, what brings you in today? Well, I'm about to get married in that's, two months. That's so, so exciting. Yeah, I'm excited, yet really stressed out at the exact same time. It's really conflicting for me. Um, I don't have my dress picked out yet. I haven't. I haven't purchased a dress at all in my weddings in two months. Um, I, my families, like our families haven't met yet, so that's really stressing me out. Everything is just, like there's so little time and so much to do, and it's really bringing me down. I'm really sorry about that. I know weddings can be very, very exciting, but yes, it does come with a lot to do, and. I understand how it can be stressful with, you know, feeling like there's so much to do, but like, and not enough time. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate on some of the things that you've like done so far? Well, I've already got my bridesmaids dresses. They have already been ordered. All the girls have been fitted, so those are on the way. Um, we have our venue picked out. That's good. This is all a good thing. Yeah, it's going to be inside in the little church where I grew up. So we have that filled. Um, we have our guest list. Like, we've already sent out the invitations, okay, obviously. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah. Um, I've done flower arrangements so far. So I don't know. It's just little things still. And also, I'm just really nervous at the exact same time. <laughs> I understand. Um... What are some of the things that you've done or to do like that can help with your nerves? Like what are some of like your hobbies that you do like in your free time to like help relieve stress? Well, right now I haven't really had free time because I go to school, I go to work, I come home, clean the house, make a meal, try to keep thinking about stuff that I need for the wedding because I don't want to forget anything because there's so much, and I then I go to bed, wake up, do the same thing the next day. So I haven't, I don't really have the time, but I really like to enjoy like the can, the candles and a bubble bath, glass of wine, you know. Those are all good things, and those do help, you know, relieve stress, I agree. Um, can you like talk about some of the places like that you've maybe looked at for like dresses so far? I've gone to a few places and when I get there, I just hate everything on me. Like it's just, I want that, I have this idea of being perfect at my wedding and nothing ever like reaches my standards, I guess. I'm always like, uh, it doesn't look that good. I'm really self-conscious about it, like how I look and how everyone's going to see me. Well, remember that, you know, on your special day, that it's going to be your friends and your family, and that they care about you, know, you as a person, and, you know, it's about how you feel, and, you know, you want to look pretty in your dress and everything, but, you know, focus on you, because it's your big day, and, you know, don't worry about so much as what everybody else is going to think, because, you know, sometimes that can help with your nerves, you know, to really focus on right. your feelings and how important this day is to you. Yeah, I'm definitely overthinking everything right now, so I'm hoping once the wedding gets here, it just runs smoothly. I'm ready for my honeymoon afterwards. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. So you have that planned? Yeah, then? we have it planned out. That's We're going exciting. to the Bahamas for a week. Oh, wow. That's Much really needed exciting. vacation. Yes, yeah. yes. I agree, and that will definitely help with the stress, you know, being able to look forward to such an exciting vacation and everything, and you, know, you said you have the church, where, like, where your wedding's going to take place, and the bridesmaids' dresses, and, you know, like, just the venue and everything, so that's, you know, big things that people worry about, too, so that's good that you have, you know, all of those things done so far. I guess you're right. I'm not as far behind as I make myself yeah. think I am. Like, I think that I'm procrastinating and this whole thing's going to be horrible, but I have done the things, like you said. Yeah. 
that were necessities for yeah. a wedding. Even some brides, you know, they look at Pinterest and get new ideas. You know, if you are stressed of coming up with you know, different extra decorations or something like that, you know, they can get ideas from that. So that seems less stressful. And sometimes those uh, sites can be like kind of crafty, like you know, inexpensive too. So that might help with budgeting and saving money and that. stuff. So that'll help and. Um, as far as your dress goes, you know, just looking at things that are, you know, in your price range and kind of, um, you know, maybe asking like somebody else's opinion that you care about, like your mom or you know, like your, one of your bridesmaids, like your maid of honor or someone like that, that'll yeah. help, you know, lift you up and get you excited for your big day with your dress and everything, you know? Yeah, I've been going alone, so it would probably help to bring someone. Sometimes a second opinion can be reassuring, too. I mean, I know I want it to be, you know, your opinion is obviously the most important, but sometimes, you know, that can help to get, like, a second opinion of somebody you Give me some more confidence. Confidence, yeah, that helps with confidence.